Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim and uh, welcome back to this next video <coughs> and uh, this is yet another video uh, in the series of videos on the bioinformatics uh, in my previous videos uh, I gave you a general introduction to the field of the bioinformatics uh, and I've told you how the uh, field of bioinformatics uh, it came into existence now uh, in this particular video uh, I want to focus on uh, the uh, reading of the protein sequences uh, from the N terminal to the C terminal and why this is important to read the uh, sequences of the protein from the uh, N to the C terminal. Uh, what we usually do is that uh, when we uh, talk about the bioinformatics these days, uh, we usually start with the sequences of the DNA and then we move to the sequences of the proteins and so on. Uh, but uh, when you look at the uh, history of the bioinformatics, it started with the uh, uh, sequences of the proteins and then it moved into the sequences of the uh, DNA. So we are going to start from the uh, sequences of the protein first. Now the 20 amino acid molecules uh, which are found in the proteins, they have got different structures, uh, but they all have the same pair of hooks. Uh, what I mean by that is that if you look at the general structure of an amino acid, you will always found uh, a carboxylic group, uh, you will always found an amino group, a uh, hydrogen group, and then you are going to have a side chain. So when we say that all of the amino acids, they've got the same hooks, so they will be having an amino group and they will be having a carboxyl group. And you will find these in all of the amino acids. When we say that the structure of the amino acids, they are different from each other. What I mean by this is that they have this side chain and the side chain, they are different in different amino acids, thereby making them different from each other. Now, this group of the atoms uh, that are present in these uh, amino acids, they are used to form uh, the so-called peptidic bond between the successive residues in the sequence of a protein. Uh, for example, if these are the two amino acids, so how are you going to combine them with each other uh, to give you uh, the primary structure of the protein? So these two amino acids, this is one amino acid, this is another amino acid, they are going to combine with each other, making a bond which is known as the peptide bond. So this peptide bond is actually linking the two amino acids to each other. Now, if you look at this one, uh, of this particular amino acid, the uh, carboxyl group that is used, and of this amino acid, the amino group is used. So when the two amino acids, they combine with each other, the carboxyl group of one amino acid is going to combine with the amino group of the uh, other amino acid. Now, as a result of this chaining process, uh, the protein molecule is going to be left with an unused amino terminal at one end and an unused carboxyl group at the other end. Uh, for example, if you look at this particular figure and if we say that this is the first amino acid and this is the last amino acid in the primary sequence of a protein. So as you can see over here that this amino group is an unused one and in this carboxyl group is an unused one. So we say that during the end of this chaining process, the protein molecule is going to be left with an unused amino group at one end and an unused carboxyl group at the other end. Now these extremities, they are respectively called as the end terminus, the unused uh, amino group end that is known as the end terminus and the unused carboxylic end that is known as the uh, C terminus of the uh, protein chain. Now why we bother about the end terminus and the C terminus of these protein chain? Now this is very important to know because the scientific convention, if you look at the uh, sequences of the protein in the books, in the databases and so on, so they are going to define the sequence of a protein or of a protein fragment as the succession of its constituents amino acid and they are uh, listed in the order of the N terminus to the C terminus. So if you look at the databases they are, uh, or the books, they are going to give you the sequence of the protein uh, from the N terminus to the C terminus, which means that the N terminus will be having an unused amino group. So that would be the first amino acid and the C terminus that would be the uh, other end of the protein molecule. That means that would be the other end of the particular protein. 
See, for example, if this is uh, a protein sequence, uh, the methionine, the alanine, the valine, the leucine, the aspartic acid, uh, they are connected to each other by the peptidic bond. So this would be the uh, N terminal of this particular protein uh, fragment. And this aspartic acid, this would be the other end of the uh, uh, this particular protein fragment. Uh, we will continue the uh, discussion in the uh, next video.